Okay guys, welcome back to Adventure Camping Tactical Nut here with another knife review for you. Today we're going to be talking about the Benchmade Barrage 850. And I'll just take a look at this Benchmade logo, Osborne collaboration. Now before I get into it, I just want to say one thing. If you're a knife guy like I am, uh, there are times when you get a knife that you kind of just don't really want to let go of. And this is one of those situations. Um, I know this is a budget channel, and this, by any means, is not a budget knife. Um, I just happen to get a ridiculously good deal on it, and I'll explain that at the end of the video. Um, but when I did the unboxing, and you could hear me say that I couldn't wait to put this knife into use and to find reasons to use it, well, that's exactly what happened. Um, I was inventing reasons of trying to use this knife. Um, I mean, I don't use scissors around the house very often. I usually will use a pocket knife, but I tell you, I was finding every excuse possible to put this thing to use, and it held up like a champ. Um, <clears throat> but to get into it, let's just start off with a little bit of the specs. First off, the blade length is 3.6 inches. Um, the thickness is 1.2. Um, the Rockwell hardness is a 58 to 61 weighing 4.2 ounces um, with an overall length of 8.35 and a closed length of 4.75 now um, it does have pocket clip reversible but it is as you can see tip up only um, which typically most of my knives I carry tip down um, but for this since it is a spring assisted you kind of gives you the only option of being able to really only uh, have it tip up and I have to say after carrying this for a while um, I may be changing the the style in the way that I carry my knives because this has been awesome to say the very least uh, but as you can see here blade centering is perfect when you and this thing whips out with authority and I mean when I say authority when I hand this to friends and stuff you have to tell them ahead of time quickly Hey, it's spring assisted, get a good hold of it because if not, it will fly out of your hand because it really just rips out of there. Um, does have stainless steel liners, but they have been skeletonized. Hopefully, you can see that in there. Um, so, they did cut down on the weight because this is actually fairly lightweight. I mean, I know it's 4.2 ounces, but it, it almost doesn't feel it. I mean, I'll tell you what. The handle scales are made out of a thing called Valox. Now I had never had anything like that before but it is basically it's like a from my research what I got is like a stronger G10. Um, as you can hear it does sound hollow but I mean there has been nothing that I've thrown at this thing that this knife couldn't do. I also love this axis lock because um, you pull it down then you can close the blade as you can see it pops back up. Now one-handed closing can it be done? Yes, but it does take a little more concentration and a little more effort. So I typically find that I'll just hold the lock down, put it on my brace it on my leg and close it like that or on something else. But yes, it can be done one-handed. Like I said, just takes a little more concentration, a little more effort because this thing does when it gets back to the closing point. You see it snaps shut there. So it takes a little bit of force to get that thing to close back up. Um, the steel is a 154 cm. This is the only time I've ever used this kind of steel and Just to give you an example of how much I love this steel two months I've been carrying this knife inventing every reason I possibly could to use it um, Have not put this on the sharpener have not touched it up stropped it, you know anything not even a blade steel um, but So let's just see how this edge has held up over two months and a ton of use. Tore a little bit there. I mean, look at that. Two months of using this thing like mad, haven't touched it up, and it's still shaving paper. I mean, this is going to be one of those times when. I actually almost kind of regret that 
I won't say that this is a budget channel because I'm not going to be able to keep buying knives like this. But this is going to be next to impossible to put down. I have loved using this knife. Um, now, with it being, as you see there, Osborne Collaboration, this guy is known for his hard use knives. Um, and from what I've seen in the demos, I haven't been out in the woods much because we've had a lot going on with the family, the holidays, traveling, renovating the house. Um, and once I do, once I get out as far as the outdoors, hiking, camping, and really putting it to some hard use, I'll do another video and replicate that. But from demos that I've seen, this thing can take a serious amount of abuse. Um, another thing that it does have is you can see this little switch right there, as you can hear it. That's a safety. And as you can see there, this little piece in there will move. Let me hold this up to it. So this way you can't open it. So this way it will not accidentally deploy in your pocket. Um, although I never put the safety on and I've never had this thing go off in my pocket. So if you're concerned about that, don't. Safety is probably just going to slow you down at a time when you probably really need it. But at the same time, at least it's there if you like it. Um, pocket clip they did do a really good job it is not too tight it's <clears throat> rides pretty low in the pocket maybe I can give you a good example of how far down it goes personally there's been other knives as you can see here it goes pretty far down pulling it out no issues whatsoever um, but I would like a deeper carry I think I say that a lot about all my knives because most of them pretty much have this style of pocket clip, or at least this depth, um, but I'm not really going to complain. And plus two, this Valox is pretty smooth, um, although I did find with the design, as you can see here, the little divots that it has and the serrations along here, um, not a whole lot of traction there, but I have never had an issue with this slipping or feeling that this was going to fall out of my hand or anything else. So. I mean, if you look at your hand when you're holding it, it kind of does mold into those little divots, although I don't think they were made for that. I think it was more just for grip. Um, but I mean, as you see here, no blade pay back and forth. The lockup is absolutely solid. Side to side, we're good. Oops, it helps if I not move my hand. Um, I mean, this thing is rock solid. And. My only thing I would change is probably this backspacer right here. I would just eliminate that if I could. Um, just would save a little bit of weight, makes it a little bit easier to clean. Um, you probably can't tell because the lighting out here has been raining most of the morning, so um, gets pretty dusty in there and stuff. And so you really got to take a Q-tip and muscle it in there because it doesn't slide in there very easy. Uh, the lanyard hole is pretty small. I never put lanyards on my knives, so it doesn't really matter, but if you are, I think 550 cord, you might have a little bit of trouble getting that there through, because um, that is pretty small, but, you know, that's up to you, whatever you want to do with your knives, it's yours. Um, but overall, guys, 154 CM, outstanding blade steel, edge retention has been awesome, um, performance awesome, I mean, this is a 11 out of 10, I mean, this is a rock solid awesome knife I highly recommend you getting one now which brings me to price um, most places if you go to REI they sell it for about 135 145 some places I get this on knife hawk now a little bit of a story with that um, I go on their website one day and they have this in the Benchmade Griptilian for $34.95 and I see it and I'm like Oh my God, I have to get this. I mean, there's no way you can find a $135, $145 knife for 35 bucks. So I go on the website, I go to order it, and when you go to checkout, it's at $135. It's adding 100 bucks. And so I just flip back to the regular page, I look at the price, $34.95, flip back, $134.95. And I'm like, what's going on here? So I get kind of mad, I email the company, um, but it was a Friday night when I was doing this and our customer service is Monday through Friday. So Saturday I tried again, same thing. Keeps adding $100 every time I go to checkout. Then I get a email from them offering 5% off to go ahead and complete the order because they noticed that obviously I didn't. 
So Sunday I decided, you know what, I'll try it one more time. I emailed the company first, I sent them a screenshot of the page I'm looking at, and I'm like, hey, what's going on? You know, your website says $34.95, I go ring it up, it's $134. So, later Sunday night, I try it one more time, it goes through. But now I have a 5% discount, so with, um, and all their shipping is free, so I get it for $33. I mean, I can't complain about that at all. Like, this is the deal of a lifetime kind of deal. Um, Come Monday morning, I get an email. They're apologizing for you know having problems with the issues or issues with the website, but then tell me that they had a lot of computer glitches going on with the computer over the weekend or the website over the weekend. Um, now they did let the order go through as you know as I ordered it for the price that I looked at it for. They didn't even mention anything about it. Just said that we were happy that you could get your order through. You know, hopefully you'll order from us again and. I mean, of course I will. They have a great site. They have great prices. They're free shipping, which is a huge bonus. Um, but what I think is that was probably part of the computer glitches, is that it was supposed to be $134.95, but somehow something got messed up. But it was pretty awesome that they let it go through for that amount. I mean, I know if you advertise a price, you have to sell it. That's the law but they could have easily at least tried to contest it or something, but nothing. I mean, they just rock solid service. I'm impressed. I know I'll never find this again because the next time I went on their website, it was on sale for 115. But, you know, this is a budget channel. This is not a knife that I would normally purchase. This is not because it's at a price point way above what I would normally buy. But I tell you what, spending this much on a knife <sighs> kind of makes you want to do it again. Um, I mean the performance is outstanding. I mean I know I go through a lot of great budget knives. They do have to be sharpened more often simply because you know the steel is a little softer. And I'll probably I mean I'm gonna keep buying more of the budget knives and stuff. But I also may start putting a little money aside every so often just so I can uh, eventually purchase other knives like this because I'm telling you man this thing it is well worth the money. It really is. At the price point that it was at, you know, on sale for 115, worth it. 135, worth it. Um, I just got insanely lucky with the price point that I found it at. I mean, I'm on a lot of websites all the time looking for the best deals that I can get. And I just happened to find a grand slam of a deal. I mean, this, I'm driving down the road. I can't stop playing with it. I'm sitting in the house. Can't stop playing with it. Everything I try to find and I want to cut something open I mean it's just that way when you get it in your hand so hopefully this will help you potentially save for a high value knife I mean this is yeah it's got a high price point but the value you get out of it is amazing um, I've never owned a knife that I could go for two months using it daily and not happen to at least touch it up um, because I mean, most of the steels I use are OS8, OS8A, or 8CR13. Um, so go out and get one. Save your money if you have to. Do what you got to do. It's worth it. Um, God, I mean, I almost hate having to do this review because that means I've got to move on to another knife to start putting something else into testing and review, which I already I have one. Um, I just kind of put off doing the review so I can carry this one a little bit longer. But in the meantime, be prepared, have fun, buy Benchmade. Take it easy.